Today we're gonna learn a very simple way to add rich skin color to your portraits in four simple steps. So without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are in the mystical world of Photoshop and if you want to download any other photos used in the video, make sure to go ahead and check the links in the description. So step number one, straight up, step number one, create a solid color adjustment layer. Very simple to do. Click on the adjustment layer icon and choose solid color and then select a peachy color. Make sure edge is selected, hue and select something like that. Let's see. Okay, that looks good. Now you can modify that. For example, once you have selected the color, when hue is selected, suppose you want to increase the saturation of it. So you would select S and probably increase the saturation a bit. For example, you want to make it a little brighter. So then we would go to B and then make it a little brighter. This is more easier to me than going to H and then just clicking on different areas. This is much more easier. I don't know about you. Maybe clicking on different areas inside of you might be easier for you. But for me, once I've selected the color, probably I play with the saturation and brightness over there. It's much more easier to play with. Now, once it's fixed, you can always go ahead and change that later. Click OK. OK, now step number two, very, very simple. Change the blend mode of the solid color adjustment layer to multiply. OK, do that really quickly from normal to multiply. Very simple to do. So as you can see, the skin is already looking amazing, rich with colors. But of course, we need to mask it in and also we need to decrease the opacity. OK, so let's zoom in. And this brings us to the third step, which is mask the skin. All right. So adjustment layers already come with a mask. So what to do? Select the mask, press Control or Command I to invert the mask. As you can see, the whole of the mask has turned black. Now, what is the concept of layer mask? Wherever there is black, that area doesn't show up or that area is hidden. Wherever there is white, that area is shown. So we need to take the brush, make sure the mask is selected, make sure the foreground color is white and start painting on the skin. OK, so let's zoom in and start painting on the skin. Increase the flow to around 100. It doesn't matter. Let's keep it full. For now, we can always go ahead and decrease the opacity. Make sure white is the foreground color and start painting on the skin. Of course, this is too much and we will decrease the opacity. But for indication purposes right now, let it be so. And if by accident, if you paint something extra, you know what to do, right? Press X to toggle between the foreground and the background and make sure the foreground and the background are black and white respectively. So make sure it's black if it's extra, if you paint it extra and then just delete the extra areas and simply just with white paint over the skin. There you go, something like that. OK, can I give you a tip, a quick way to select a skin that might not be very accurate, but let me show you a quick way to select the skin. Let's go back and let's go back to the original state. Now, very simple to do this as well. Go to select and then color range. Now, inside of color range, there is already a thing called skins, but right now it's not showing any of the color. Why? Because mask is selected. Make sure mask is not selected and we are selecting the image and then go to select color range. Then here you will find something called skin tones. If you click on it, it will select most of the skin tones and it will do a pretty good job. But if you want to manually do it, you can do that as well because every skin tone is different. So let's go ahead and select sampled colors and we would like to sample the colors manually. So selection preview for now, let's choose quick mask and then take this eyedropper, click on the skin. Now part of the skin color is selected, not all of the skin. So what you can do, click on this plus one and then just start clicking on different areas of the skin. What you also can do is just click and drag, just draw on different areas of the skin. It will automatically keep on selecting them like that. It's very convenient to use. So let's just get it down. By the way, red are the areas which are not selected. The areas which are in the original color, those areas are selected. So you can just fine tune it. There you go. It's faster. See, if you select this area, it's also selecting the background. So we don't want that to happen. So let's go back by pressing Control or Command Z. And it's pretty much fine. Let's increase the fuzziness and let's see. That's pretty OK. We'll, we'll have to figure this out. We'll have to play with the values, but that's fine. We'll have to 
manipulate the mask, but for a normal selection, that's fine. Click OK. And now select the mask and paint the selected area in white. Make sure white is the foreground color and press Alt Backspace. Option Delete if you are using a Mac. Very simple to do. Okay, now as you can see, the skin is painted with that color. Now what you have to do, you have to modify the mask, of course, but decrease the opacity. You might also want to paint the lips in so that it looks natural. Now, of course, this is too much and we need to bring it down. And this brings us to the fourth step, which is as easy as a pie. Decrease the opacity. So let's go ahead and decrease the opacity of the solid color adjustment layer. And let's keep it around probably 16 would be a fine number to be at. Let's keep it at 16 and have a look at it. Have a look at the before. So this is the before and this is the after. Look at the difference. Let me zoom out and let me show you the difference. So before, after, it adds an extra color to the skin. And if you want to modify that, you can do that as well in real time. Just double click on the icon of the solid color adjustment layer and select color in real time. For example, you wanted more saturation. Let's zoom in. Let's move to S and increase the saturation if you wanted more of saturation. So it looks good with more saturation. For example, you wanted to change the hue, make it more red-ish. So simply just bring it down like that and that works fine. Brightness, for example, you want to darken it. You can do that as well. But if we didn't want to do that, let's keep it at that and click OK. Now this is the color which I am satisfied with. You can also go ahead and increase the opacity if you desire to. For example, for this, we guess 18 would be a fine number to be at. Now, if you have a look at the before and after, so this is the before and this is the after. It's eating up the bright areas. But if that's bugging you, that's not bugging me right now because the skin shouldn't have a lot of highlights. But in case, if that's a problem to you, very simple to solve it. Just double click on the right hand side of the layer and take away the colors from the highlights by taking the slider of the underlying layer from right to left. As you can see, if I do that, it's very harsh. So all you have to do, just hold the alter option and click on the slider to set both of the sliders apart and get a smooth transition. Okay, so let's move it all the way to the right and then you can play with it. Have a look. That way you don't lose the highlights and the original skin color in the highlights, especially click OK and have a look at the difference before blend if and after blend if. So this is before blend if, this is after blend if makes a tiny difference. If you are a fan of it, you can do that as well. Now, as you can see, the mask is not perfect. If I just hold the alter option and click on the mask, it's not perfect. So we need to just modify the mask as well. So take the brush, make sure it's black and just paint in these areas. These areas are not the skin. So just paint in those areas and you know what to do. Get it proper. Just get it proper. And there you go, that's how to do it. Now let me show you a couple more examples so that it can be clearer to you. Just to let you know that this method works on both light and dark skin tones. And that's why a second example has a darker skin tone. Let's zoom in quite a bit. And similarly in this one, create a solid color adjustment layer. That is step one. Click on the adjustment layer icon and choose solid color. Now select a peachy color. We can always change that later, okay? Or let me give you one more tip for this example. If you're not sure which color to choose, all you can do, click on any color, click OK, and then just, just unlock the background layer, click on the lock, and bring the solid color adjustment layer beneath it. Then double click on the solid color adjustment layer icon and pick up a color from the skin. Just sample a color that you like and then hit OK. Now bring this layer above the subject layer and then step number two, change the blend mode of this one to multiply. Now, step number three, mask in the skin, right? Select the mask, press Ctrl or Command I, and then take the brush, make sure the foreground color is white. Press X to toggle between the foreground and the background, and then just simply paint in the skin. Just like that. I'm gonna roughly paint it. Don't paint on the eyes, okay? Be careful of not painting on the eyes. I just exceeded a bit, but just to let you know really quickly. Okay. Now this is a quick job. You can also try painting on the hair. It sometimes enhances the colors. Okay, there we go. Now, step number four, decrease the opacity. At this point, you might wanna change the color because we sampled the original skin tone. You might wanna modify that. So let's select this color. And for example, you wanna increase the saturation. And there you go. We increase the saturation a bit. And then probably we wanna change the hue. Go to the hue, make it more red-ish. Okay, if you want to make it a little darker, like that, probably like this, 
and hit OK once you're satisfied. Then, of course, this opacity is very huge. Decrease the opacity to somewhere around probably 24 would be a fine number to be at. Then have a look at the before and after. So this is the before, this is the after. There you go, you have added that color to your skin. Now, let me show you one more last example, which is very crucial. And this is for pale skin tones. So there we go, the last example. This is not the last example, this is. All right, I've already done it. So I'll show you what exactly happens before and after. So this is the before. Look, the skin tone is really a little pale. So if you wanna add more color, add more vibrance to it, have a look, I've already done it in this one. And this is the after adds a lot more vibrance, a lot more fun pop to the skin. So that's how you can add rich skin color to your portraits in Photoshop. Just remember the first steps. Number one, create a solid color adjustment layer. Choose a peachy color and then step number two, change the blend mode of that solid color adjustment layer to multiply. Then step number three, mask in the skin. So make sure the effect is just being applied. The adjustment layer is just being applied, just visible on the skin. After that, step number four, decrease the opacity. And if you want to modify that, you can do that as well. Just double click on the icon of the solid color adjustment layer and modify the saturation, brightness and hue. So that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe, ring the bell so that you my friend don't miss a thing. I would like to take this moment to thank all these nice people for making this video possible and helping keep Piximperfect free for everybody forever. Thank you so much for all your support. I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.